Welcome to my weekly edition of Phrasal Verbs, everybody. Josh here. Since the biggest thing going on in our world today is a virus which is more or less taking over our lives, in a negative way, of course, taking control, um, I thought that'd be a great idea to discuss some vocabulary, some phrasal verbs specifically about health and medicine. Um, today I read the news about Japan, and the Olympics are in danger of being called off completely, which is crazy. Um, and many events are being pushed back until further notice. Uh, a lot of wild stuff going on. There's a lot of panic setting in amongst the population. And um, yeah, hopefully this uh, situation plays out and we recover from this. We bounce back and uh, go back to life as it normally was before, right? So let's get started. So as a consequence of this virus, some people have passed away, unfortunately, while others have fought it off and gotten over it in a short period of time, thankfully. Now, what are some measures we can take to slow down the spread of this virus? There's a lot of fake news on the internet. People say masks don't do anything. However, I'm a firm believer in, in the fact that they do. Now. Mind you, wearing a mask is not going to prevent you from getting the virus from somebody else. However, wearing a mask will prevent you from spreading the virus, assuming that you have it unknowingly. So what should we do when we leave the house? We should put a mask on. Okay, so you put the mask on, wear it when you're out. I shouldn't wear it right now. Uh, when you get home, take the mask off so you can breathe normally. I went to the gym today wearing a mask and it was ridiculous. But I did it because I'm respectful and considerate of those around me. And if I had the virus, I would not want anybody to get it from me. And I would expect the same from everybody else, right? Um, secondly, why is a mask important? Wearing the mask stops us from touching our face. On average, we touch our face 15 to 20 times every hour. Now, wearing a mask, I can touch that mask. And I'm not going to touch my mouth or my nose with, the, with my hands, which possibly touch the virus in public. You don't want to infect yourself. So wearing this mask is like a passive defense mechanism to stop from giving yourself the virus, right? Another thing you can do, check on your temperature from time to time. If you start developing a slight cough, uh, you have a sore throat, or you're just feeling a bit off, it's probably a good idea to uh, monitor yourself, right? So if that happens, you should probably go see a doctor. If you set up an appointment to see a doctor, he or she will carry out a few tests to see if your body has the coronavirus in it. Hopefully not, right? Um, the test takes some time to get back, or at least it did a while ago. I'm not sure about the new tests which have just been released. However, the doctor will probably tell you to cut yourself off from the public, means stay home, self-isolate, because you are a possible threat to give that virus to whoever you come in contact with. Now, not only people who are suspected of having the virus should cut themselves off from the public, but we should all be self-isolating to a certain extent to help reduce the spread of this infection. So in short, we should all be taking care of ourselves during this time, especially the elderly who are more vulnerable to this illness than us young people, and putting in the extra effort to bring the world back to where it was a few months ago. Now, so these phrasal verbs today, we have transitive, intransitive, separable, inseparable functions. There's another phrasal verbs, theory and rules video on my website and on YouTube and on Instagram. Check them out. Uh, if you have any questions about the vocabulary today, if you want to talk about this or anything with me, get a hold of me. Um, there's all kinds of information here on my website. There's other videos. Uh, I have a blog going with vocabulary building. If you're interested in English lessons or you need uh, a life coach to help push you to give you that motivation, that uh, extra energy to achieve what you want to achieve, hey, let me know. I'm good for that too and I'll be happy to see you. So, stay safe, stay clean, and I'll see you soon.